If North Korea's recent rocket launch was regarded as an act of defiance at the UN, worthy of this week's Security Council resolution, then Pyongyang warned on Thursday that there was more to come. Its powerful National Defense Commission said in a statement, We do not hide that a variety of satellites and long-range rockets, which will be launched by the DPRK, one after another, and a nuclear test of higher level, which will be carried out by it in the upcoming all-out action, will target against the U.S., the sworn enemy of the Korean people. This was both a return to the kind of fiery anti-U.S. rhetoric that has been notable by its absence during Kim Jong-un's first year in power, and the first official confirmation that a third nuclear test was in the works. That confirmation comes as no surprise to the government of South Korea. Earlier on Thursday, the Defense Ministry gave a briefing saying that the preparations at the test site in northeastern North Korea were now complete. We consider that North Korea is ready to conduct a nuclear test at any time if its leadership decides to go ahead. We're closely monitoring the North's nuclear test preparations and its military movement based on our firm and combined defense position. The U.S. Special Representative on North Korea policy, in Seoul for talks with his South Korean counterpart, called on Pyongyang not to carry out a nuclear test. It would be highly provocative. It would set back the cause of trying to find a solution to these long-standing problems that have prevented the peninsula from uh, becoming uh, reunited. Uh, I think it's very important that they don't test. Davies also used his visit to meet South Korea's president-elect, Park Yun-hae, who campaigned on a more conciliatory approach towards Pyongyang than the current incumbent, Lee myung bak a policy that a nuclear test would make harder to fulfill in her first months in office. In the past, North Korea has timed such actions around important dates. It's worth noting that Park's inauguration and the birthday of former leader Kim Jong-il both fall in February. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Busan, South Korea.